What's up, my fabulous love bug goodies? Welcome back to your girl kitchen and to our channel. Now booting, my finally decided to do the recipe you have been asking for. Sweet and juicy oven baked honey chicken thighs in your kitchen in a no time. Now boo, this chicken is so tasty, so juicy, so moist and full of its goodness in its glory. You are going to love this one. Now, if you are here first and watching me cooking this recipe, be sure to subscribe. Then turn on your post notification settings. Good to be reminded every time a girl upload a brand new video. Now, I'm ready to cook and I hope you're ready to get started with me. So, come on and let's get started. You don't remember where you're coming from. You don't remember where you're coming from. You don't remember where you're coming from, Rastafar, I, I. Why you turn your back on your brother when him need you? Need you don't remember the days I'm when him feed you. Need you know when no obligation, but you win some respect. All you need to do is just give him one to get turn your back on your brother when him okay goody let's get started cooking this chicken now we're going to wash this chicken and we're going to do this in almost every one of these videos to make sure that you get your chicken wash nice and clean every single time now all i did right here was got it running on some cold water me get my salt me get some apple cider vinegar and one lemon if you don't have lemon you might say use green lime or lemon juice right you want to make sure that however you wash that chicken thoroughly you're going to throw off that water for sure because that is yucky 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 water we don't want that now i always wash my chicken twice do the same thing stop the lime in it add some more salt and uh, vinegar of course and after i do that then i always get the pulp so because the pulp has so much goodness in it and it's going to give your chicken a mean mean flavor cover it up 30 minutes do about the same thing second time around now if you don't want to wash your chicken twice like me you could do it once but just to be on the safe side and get out of it like a hidden thing you see that that's hidden thing right there yeah we're going to get all them little hidden things that love to hide on your chicken take off that extra little skin and not skin but you know fat from uh, that's trapped underneath that chicken skin you want to remove all of that and then you just wash your chicken off nice and clean make sure say so you wash your sink you clean your sink up really good get rid of that germ 99.9 percent .9 of that need bleach to get rid of wash your hands nice and clean and bam your chicken is ready okay goody after i was done with all of the meat cleaning business i went in and i grabbed my apple cider vinegar i prefer to use apple cider vinegar only with this recipe okay now i went in with my all-purpose season my grace all-purpose season that i love so much it has so much flavor and i just kind of drizzled and dazzled now um goody i am eyeballing everything here I bought it, but I'm going to put everything that I use down below in your description. Check that out. Then I went in and added my salt, of course, for added flavor. And then I went in and drizzled my black pepper to the mix as well, okay? Then I went in with my ground cinnamon powder and I drizzled that pommel chicken as well. And yes, boo, we are adding some lemon pepper seasoning to it, but just a tad bit okay a tap bit it's going to give it that little sour taste added my thyme my dry thyme to it if you don't have dry thyme use powder thyme if you're using the fresh thyme take the leaves off no put no stem into this now of course you want to go in with your onion powder and you definitely want to go in as well with your garlic powder as well because those two season right there is critical for this recipe now Good. After I got done doing that, I went in with my paprika. Yes, boo. Went in and throw that thing up in there. People say paprika not have no flavor, but it does have flavor. And it's going to give your food a mean color. Okay. Now it's time to go in with my grounded ginger. If you don't have ground ginger, go in with fresh ginger. But make sure it's your chop, chop up, chop, chop up the thing real good. Then I put some parsley in it and then one tablespoon of cane sugar brown sugar cane sugar do not use granulated sugar white sugar for the recipe also i went in with some garlic of course that's a must fresh garlic and then i added my hot pepper 
sauce the, the ultra-rich brand i love it y'all i'm gonna love it then went in with some extra virgin olive oil because that extra virgin olive oil is going to hug everything together now this is optional but i went in with my tomato ketchup if you don't want to use tomato ketchup you could use tomato paste but you are going to need that little sweet extra boost of flavor and it's going to clutter it, all of that stuff clut clutter yes boo you want to clutter that season panna thing right so now i'm going to let this sit for at least 30 minutes before we move on after 30 minutes it was time to place my chicken drumsticks on my baking tray bowl so yeah i'm making it pretty but it doesn't matter right because this is going to end up in one place in my belly but anyway i went ahead and i placed those neatly for whatever every reason i have no idea but they, they went on neatly and then my oven was preheated boo make sure they put these things in a preheated oven only okay everything was going to be listed down below your oven temperature and all that stuff all that extra marinade you have left over get it on the chicken right get it all up on that mm, succulent 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 stuff pop it in the oven and yes boo now make sure that you have subscribed to your girl channel show some love thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up and be sure to check out my other recipes up here and they are always good all right if you're not see it ask sweet i'm gonna do it be sure to go over to your girl channel life as juliana and check that out i'm also going to be uploading vegan recipes very soon starting in a couple of days so make sure you go over there and subscribe if you are one of my vegan goodies they will be over there starting soon with this stew peas recipe right now back to the video now after my chicken was cooking for about a 30 minutes right 30 minutes in the oven because it, it does take about an hour to bake i let my thing well done right i just went ahead and turn them over but i am going to take that uh good juice off because we needed that juice delicious goodness right there and we are going to simmer it down so throw it off and then you put it into the pot right here you just want to throw it off put it into a pot and we're going to add some vinegar to it and some paprika and you're also going to add some honey honey yes put your honey in there make sure you put your honey in there give it a good little stir and when it comes like that it is ready how you know it ready when it sticks to the, the spoon when you lift that spoon up and it's, it doesn't leave any spoon mark in between that's when you know that that thing is ready pull my chicken out of the oven pour that goodness all over and double 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 all up in that chicken on both sides that sauce right there is everything okay that sauce is the shibam bam sauce right there make sure you get it in every cracks of the chicken really really good don't miss any spot because you want to make sure when you get this this marinade on the chicken it is nice and hot so it about those drench in and love up and everything all up in that chicken then i just went ahead and just made it a little pretty just put a little bit more of that parsley on top which is optional because me extra me put that and yes boo my chicken was done this chicken was done it was done and it was ready for the table and it, it was uh, yes mm -hmm. this chicken right here is one of those recipes that you just have to try it is so easy to make and not only is it easy but it is super delicious for any time of the year barbecues whatever christmas time when you decide to bite into that goodliness of goodliness right there trust me the thing is solid juicy deliciousness running out of that chicken yes it is moist and 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 just juicy and just filled with that goodness of flavor but look at that it cook right through to the 
boned yes this chicken recipe you have to try yeah you're going to love it you are going to love it as much as i love it yes good day. now i'm so happy to have made this requested recipe for you guys and make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel thumbs up the recipe share the recipe with friends and family now don't forget to go over and check out your girl channel life as juliana the vegan recipes will be over there now tell me what you like to see me cooking next in my kitchen and as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy